All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest on the Chicago Bears Post minicamp and OTAs. Training camp is just around the corner, and the buzz around the rookies, especially Caleb Williams, is exciting. Williams is looking phenomenal. The Bears are set to be competitive this season, especially early on. Their schedule in the first half is rookie quarterback friendly and team friendly, with no divisional opponents until later. The hope is they'll build chemistry and momentum, setting them up for success. There's a lot riding on this season for Matt Eberflus and the coaching staff. The pressure's on to deliver results, and fans are eager to see what Caleb Williams can do. While a 9-8 season seems plausible, they could surprise us. Stick around as we dive into their prospects this season. If you're enjoying the content, hit that like button and subscribe for more Bears and NFL updates. Let's dive into their defensive strategy next. This team is looking really strong, especially with their top 10 defense in the second half of the season. When Montez Sweat joined the Bears, it initially seemed like a gamble, but he quickly made a huge impact. Week after week, he disrupted game plans, racking up sacks and making life hard for opponents. The Bears' defense improved statistically and passed the eye test as the weeks went on. It was surprising at first how much of a difference Sweat made right away. Now he's a star for the Bears. Looking ahead, one of the key priorities for the Bears, according to Bleacher Report, is finding a second edge rusher to complement Sweat. While they drafted Austin Booker for this role, he might need time to develop. Exploring trade or free agency options for another pass rusher could be wise. For instance, Demarcus Walker had a solid season last year with 17 games played, 12 starts, 3.5 sacks, 30 tackles, including 9 for loss, and 16 quarterback hits. Considering options like Walker could be beneficial for the Bears' defensive strategy going forward, I'm not sure if there's anyone available in free agency right now who would be a significant upgrade over Demarcus Walker at a reasonable price. Austin Booker, our new draft pick, has the potential to make an impact, but our depth at edge rusher isn't very deep. Players like Jacob Martin, Demarcus Walker, and Austin Booker will all find ways to contribute, but rather than rushing into a free agency move, I'd suggest waiting. Maybe wait until closer to the trade deadline, like we did last year. Imagine if by then we're around four, two or five, three, and in contention for the division. That could be the right time to make a move for another star edge rusher to bolster our top 10 defense. Regarding interior pass rushers, I think Javon Dexter has shown promise, especially as a rookie. But beyond him, our options are limited and depth is a concern. Adding defensive tackles to the mix during training camp could help generate consistent pressure on quarterbacks. Recently on Twitter, there was some controversy surrounding Javon Dexter, sparked by criticism from a few weeks back. A couple of days ago, I noticed Javon Dexter's screensaver showing his goals aiming for all-pro status and targeting 15 to 20 tackles for loss. He's really dedicated to becoming a standout player. Dexter, from the Florida Gators, showed impressive improvement towards the end of last season. His snap count steadily increased, and he ended up playing close to 50% of the snaps. Looking at our defensive line, which was a big concern heading into the offseason, it turned out to be pretty solid, especially in the second half of last season. That might explain why we didn't see big moves for another edge rusher or interior pass rusher. The Bears seem confident in Javon Dexter's potential for his sophomore season. Moving on, signing a veteran cornerback initially didn't strike me as necessary with Jalon Johnson and others in the secondary. However, considering depth, adding a veteran off the bench could be beneficial without taking snaps away from Tyreek Stevenson, who had a mixed season last year. While Stevenson showed promise with interceptions, he also faced a lot of targets and receptions. Avoiding high-profile corners like Stephon Gilmore or Xavier Howard seems wise. Instead, 
adding depth for flexibility could be more practical. Finally, at center, Ryan Bates seems underrated but solid after his first year as a starter. Coleman Shelton provides backup, but Bates looks like a long-term solution for the Bears. He was sought after last year from Buffalo, and now he's proving his reliability. Let me know your thoughts on potential moves or players the Bears should target. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Daily Bears content. We'll keep you updated.